I think just being weary of advice that you hear on the internet because I found myself setting up all of these weird arbitrary rules for mixing or for creating or production or even making YouTube videos because I had heard somebody that I like their work say it or I'd heard somebody that I didn't know say it. And um, I'm sure this comes as, you know, kind of ironic coming from the guy who runs a YouTube channel that gives production tips and who's now on a podcast to share <laughs> my kind of story. But like, whatever you hear from me, please take with a grain of salt. There's a million ways to do things. There's a million ways to make a successful career in music and uh, nobody's going to have all the answers. And if somebody tells you that you need to take 200 hertz out of a kick drum, um, maybe try it. Could be a cool tip, but it could just completely suck the life out of your track. So I think having that objectivity and that certain skill set to kind of filter out information as you hear it is by far like one of the most crucial skills you can have as a producer because we're at a time where anybody can say anything, anybody can share their opinion and anybody can present themselves as an expert. And I think the people mm -hmm. that are utilizing all of the tools and the channels and the outlets that are amazing and helping so many people, I think the people that utilize that best are the ones that can listen to everything, filter out that information, um, have some kind of cognitive thinking and really start to kind of put that into their own workflow and their own thought process rather than just recycling and regurgitating all of the YouTube tips or all of the infographics that they see on Instagram. I love it, man. I think at the end of the day, we all have to go through the motions and we all have to make those mistakes and we all have to learn and we have to, like you said, you know, we have to really think about what we're doing before we, <laughs> before right. we do it. And that's the, only, that's the only way you learn really is, go, is going through the motions until you actually realize, oh, I learned 100%, something 100%, man. Do you, you know, know how many bad songs I made before I made one that one other person said was good? It's just like, you have to get the bad ideas out. You yeah. have to get the weird DAW issues that you didn't know existed out. You have to get the phase issues out. Like <laughs> these are all things that just have to be learned over time. And the only way you can do that is by actually going and just creating music and creating ideas. You're never going to pick all that up just by watching all the YouTube videos or paying for the masterclass courses. You have to actually put the time in, which I know is frustrating, but I mean, there's a reason that the 10,000 hour rule like still exists all these years later. And it's because it actually works. Like that's the only way that you're going to get better. It's just putting in the time and putting in the effort. So Sorry to say to anybody looking for the shortcut, it's probably not going to be as beneficial as you're hoping. Yeah.